Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CSE Partshala. We were studying about Python for Machine Learning and Data Science and in this tutorial we will study about plotting multiple bar charts. So in the previous tutorial we did study that how to plot multiple line charts and how to plot a bar chart. So similarly we can also plot multiple bar charts that means we can add an additional line chart to the existing chart as we have seen in the previous tutorial also. We can also add a bar graph to an existing chart. So in order to perform this operation, let's consider a code, then we will understand how to implement it. Percentage matplotlib inline, that means that we want to generate the results on the same page. Import matplotlib.pyplot.splt that means we are importing the main module that is matplotlib and a submodule that is pyplot of matplotlib as an allies that is plt. Then from matplotlib we are importing a style okay that means style uh, package and from that style we are using ggplot okay that means style.use ggplot. Then we need to plot a bar so what we have to do here is we will use plt.bar and then we will consider two variables that means one is for the x-axis and another is for the y-axis. Okay, so we are taking two lists here. This is x-axis list and this is y-axis list. Then we are giving a label to our uh, bar chart that means we are just naming it as gem. We are giving its color as m that is the magenta color. Then we are aligning our bar chart towards the center. Okay, so that's why we have given alignment as center. And then we are giving one more variable that is alpha. Its value is 0 0.5. Okay, so what does this alpha means? Since we are giving multiple bar charts, so it may happen that there might be overlapping of the bars. Okay, so in order to just distinguish between the various bars we are giving here a parameter alpha okay so in order to have some translu uh, translucent visualization of the bar charts okay similarly again we are taking one more plot of the bar that is plt.bar again we are taking the two list that means this is for the x axis and this is for the y axis Okay, so the x-axis values are same, however, the y-axis values are different here. We are labeling it with a name Tim. We are giving its color as G, that means green. And then again, we are aligning it towards the center. And uh, yes, we are giving again alpha equal to 0.5. Okay, that means the same, just to have a proper visualization of the bar in a distinct distinguished for, uh, format. Now we are uh, labeling the bar chart with the title that is results. So it's been written as plt.title results. We are giving the x label as semester that is plt.x label. We are uh, labeling the y axis as grades that is plt.y label. Then plt.legend because we have given here labels that is gem and the tim. Okay, so obviously we need to give a legend here. Okay, that we have seen in the previous tutorial also. And then at the last we are also drawing the grid lines. Okay, so that's why we have written here as plt.grid. We are making it as true and the color of the grid will be y that means yellow. So let's save this code and run this code, we can see that we are having multiple bar charts. Okay, so they are separated by the colors that is magenta and the green. And yes, they are also having certain overlappings. So these overlappings are being shown with the help of a black color. Okay, so for that reason only we have used alpha parameter here. Okay, so this is the results how to generate multiple bar charts. Now, as I've already told that bars might have overlap with each other. So it's important to distinguish them. So we are setting their parameter alpha as 0.5. We are making it as translucent. Now, if you want to change the tick marks, 
so far in our charts, uh, we have seen that the tick marks on the x-axis are always displaying the value that is uh, supplied as in a numerical format. That means uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, and so on. So what will happen if we just uh, give the values which are present on x-axis in a form of a strings like for example rainfall that has uh, been represented as these values and the months these are represented as the these values okay that means we are giving here numerical values for the rainfall on the y-axis and uh, we are giving the value of months compatible to the rainfall in the form of a uh, string values that is from January to December okay so this is a string these are not the numerical values and we want to plot these string values on the x-axis that means they will represent a label okay so how to perform this thing so let's consider a code where we might be tempted to plot the charge directly as follows okay so percentage matplotlib inline we know about this what it do as we have seen in the previous example we are importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt okay then we are declaring a list that is rainfall and uh, its values are certainly like these and in a similar way we are declaring another list that will represent your x-axis so rainfall will represent the y-axis and months will represent the x-axis and here we are giving the string values that means in the quotations we are giving Jan, Feb, March and so on till the December. Then what we will do? We will plot the bar for it. So plt dot bar months comma rainfall obviously that means x and y coordinates okay and then we are aligning, aligning it as the center and we are giving the color as orange okay and then we are showing the plot which we did above okay so that is this is done by plt dot show so let's save this code and run this code okay so here is output and uh, here we can see on the x-axis we are getting the values as in a string format okay and these are respectively the values of y so our more concern is about how to give the values in format of strings apart from the numerical values so uh, we have some considerations here that uh, here these are not arranged currently in an alphabetical order okay so whatever the values which we have given here in the x-axis they are represent in a similar format that means jan feb march not in an alphabetical manner but it may happen that results may vary or it may come up according to an alphabetical manner and it may not resemble with the values which are present on the y-axis okay so for example we are having like this jan august and feb okay so what will happen if we sort these things into an alphabetical order so august will come first okay and uh, uh, then feb will come and then jan will come okay so but currently in our result it's not been showing like that but it may happen that the results will come in an alphabetical manner so we will sort these things into an uh, another example okay so to create a range object matching the size of the rainfall list we will use it to plot the chart okay so what exactly it has been saying we will uh, consider this in our example so we need to ensure that the month labels are been displayed correctly on the x-axis so for that reason we will use xtix function so let's consider a code percentage matplotlib inline import matplotlib.pyplot as plt we are taking a list rainfall with the numerical values and we are taking the months as the string values now what we are doing plt.bar that means we need to plot the bar range length rainfall so what exactly we have to give here uh, in uh, bar method we will give the x coordinates and we will give the y coordinates so here what will this represent this will represent the x coordinates so whatever be present here it will be according to the range of 
the coordinates of the y axis okay so range length rainfall the values which are present in the rainfall that means the number of values present on the y axis compatible values will be plotted on x axis also that's why we are taking the range here okay according to the length again the same thing we are aligning it towards the center here we are taking the color as orange fine then what we will do plt dot x text what does this mean this means that we are taking the range length of the rainfall okay and months so this will be your again the x axis and this is what your months so the range of months will be according to the rainfall okay it may not happen that they are not in alphabetical order okay so the results will be presented apart or not following the alphabetical order thing okay and the rotation will be vertical so and then we will plot the show okay so these x ticks that means we are uh, putting tick marks on the x axis with the values of months and that will be according to the range of the y axis values that is the rainfall and more importantly they will not follow your alphabetical manner they will follow the manner which they are being compatible or given as per the list okay so let's save this code and run this code we got the results as the same as we got in the previous example also the result which are been compatible for x and y which is not been following the alphabetical manner we are using string values on the x axis so this is much more better approach okay so that's all for this tutorial we will come up with more informative tutorials on matplotlib thanks for watching kindly do subscribe to my channel